it's freezing. Okay, not really. It's 47, but it's the kind of like the middle of October. That is not normal for here. I wanted to show y'all some stuff that we got whenever Amazon did their whatever it was, their Prime deals the other day. I am so proud of this ottoman. Y'all have no idea how proud I am because I have wanted an ottoman. I'm not even playing with y'all. I don't know, at least 17 years. I'm not playing. <laughs> Actually, it might have even been longer than that. But anyway, so this is the one I got and it's kind of hard to show this off because of the angle, but um, I got it for $50 and it was regularly 100, so 50% off, so I thought that was awesome. And it's actually really sturdy. So it holds up to 300 pounds, like it's solid. I didn't have to build it. I did have to put the legs on, which, you know, whatever, that's fine. But it opens up. And I wanted to show you all this because look, whenever you pick it, like lift the lid up. So it kind of like, I guess that's some type of like a hydraulic system or something in there where it actually just holds it up and like it doesn't fall. Like you can pull it down of course, but like it doesn't, doesn't fall on you. So I thought that was cool. And then it has a ton of storage area. I am really proud of this. I'm gonna move back to my spot. I tried to do something in a different place because that way I could show y'all the ottoman where it belongs, but I do. I'm not a fan of the lighting over there. I got a few other things on Prime Deal, um, and then I got a few other things that I just regularly buy from Amazon that I want to share with you guys. But uh, yeah, so on Prime Day deals, they have deals on puzzles and I bought four. They typically are between like 15 to $20 for these puzzles. They had all of these beauties on sale for $5.99 each. I got the park patches, is that what's called? National park patches, so that's cool. They're all 1,000 piece, that's kind of my sweet spot. Stroll in Paris, yeah. So it's day over here and this night over here. This one is Songbirds, in, which is the one, I've actually already started this one. There's the ones I got. Like I said, they were all a thousand pieces and they ranged from price between $5.99 to $6.99, just depending on which one. But that was around 50% off of what I typically pay for puzzles. So I stacked up obviously because, you know, why not? Um, and then, like I said, the ottoman, I got it for 50% off. I'll link all of this stuff below for y'all. This was not a prime day deal, but I wanted to mention this because I feel like it's something that is a really good deal. It actually is a great deal on prime. And so that is cliff bars. So it's 18 packs. It's not the others, 18 packs of cliff bars in certain flavors. Sorry, I just elbowed you. I didn't mean to do that to you. So 18 packs of cliff bars, are $19.99 on Amazon for certain flavors. I believe from, from what I can remember is typically gonna be the peanut butter, the white chocolate macadamia nut, and I think the chocolate chip one is usually that price as well. And my mom has a Costco membership and she said that that's the same price that she pays at Costco. So it made me feel like that that's, you know, clubhouse pricing, whatever, which is typically gonna be better than grocery store pricing. So I'm not really a big fan of pre-processed foods and packaged foods and things like that. Like I typically would rather, as much as I can, like get fresh and make my own or whatever, but I will say it is convenient to have bars like this that are pre-packaged on hand. For me, particularly with my health conditions the way they are, there are just some days where I just cannot deal with making food. And so to have something like this on hand you know, that's super awesome for me. I feel like I sit here and tell y'all, oh, I'm trying to eat uh, less processed and stuff. And then I'm like, you can get the bomb ass deal of Cliff Bars. But you know, I think everything has this place. The other thing I got, it's gonna be really hard to show y'all right now because it's sunny in here, but I bought a curtain for the back door because we do have the forest right here. Farabee sees deer all the time. She sees squirrels constantly rabbits, possums. We saw armadillo the other day. There's all kinds of things that she can see from in here when that big window is open because it goes all the way to the ground because the door. And so she sits right here and looks down at the ground. I really wanted to stop her from doing that so much because she starts barking. If she just watched quietly and didn't say anything, then I wouldn't feel the need to necessarily like block her because it's not bad that she's looking out the window. It's not bad that she's barking either in my opinion because I feel like, you know, she's a dog, that's what dogs do. 
this is her yard. She wants you to know if something is in her yard. Um, but she doesn't act like that like whenever we're out, if that makes sense. Even if we just walk out of our yard, like she totally doesn't bark at dogs or animals or anything. But if we're at home and she sees them, then she does. And I also don't wanna train that out of her because part of me thinks, you know, if she does see something in the yard moving, I want her to tell me. You know, if it's that close to our house, then I want her to tell me if she sees it. But this is why I got the curtain because it's very hard to teach her only tell me these things during these times because these times I'm like, I don't wanna hear you. And that's kind of a dick way to be too. So what I thought was by getting a curtain, I'm looking at it, that's what I keep doing. <laughs> but what I thought was by getting a curtain that I could just shut that whenever I know I need a break and like not necessarily on her during her barking, but like right now, for example, if I was like, you know, I think I'm gonna go do some work or I wanna meditate or whatever, then I can just close that curtain and then that really eliminates, I would say 90% of the reasons that she would bark. And so that's a huge help to me mentally. And the other thing, now that we've gotten it, I've been shutting it at night just because why not? And I really do like it. Um, but like I said, I feel like I feel like it's gonna be kind of hard to show y'all. It's just a sheer like linen type of a fabric. And as y'all see, it's just white. Um, so I like it a lot. And then this part up here, so this is a tension rod. So I didn't have to drill anything or do anything funky. And then I liked these curtains because they actually have metal grommets. I got the curtain rod and the, the curtain was $11. I can't remember how much the curtain rod was, but I think it was like around $15 as well. So I did my whole entire window set up for less than $30. I feel like that was a great deal. Having sheer curtains was really important to me because I still want to have the daylight because I get that seasonal depression thing, especially if it's like completely dark. I don't know. So I'll link those for you guys. Fear be wants to puzzle. So we're gonna go do that. It's cold here. I think I already said, well, if I didn't say it, then you've probably figured it out. So it's 47 for our high today. I'm not a cold weather person and especially not in October because seriously, uh, yesterday I was wearing shorts and laying on the porch. Yeah. And the day before it was 80. So it's, it's kind of cold today. And I think it makes it more cold like psychologically whenever it was like 82 days ago and then now it's not even gonna reach 50. Like it's just a different kind of cold because sometimes, you know, whenever it's like dead of winter, if it's like, oh, it's gonna get up to 50 today, you're excited. But whenever it's that big of a drop, just that quickly, ooh, I don't know. I don't love it. Um, but anyway, so I think that's all I had to share with y'all this week. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next week. Bye guys.